my company is called Goldrat Research Labs, and many of you might recognize Goldrat as the, the name of Dr. Ellie Goldrat, who is the best-selling author of The Goal, one of the books that probably all of us that have done you know, masters or MBA programs have probably read. Um, but he's also the, the creator of Theory of Constraints. I was incredibly fortunate to have met Ellie very early on in my life. I was in my very early 20s and had read the book, has immediately applied its concepts into the manufacturing company that I was head of engineering of at the time. We got dramatic results, you know, we doubled our throughput, we increased dramatically our due date performance and responsiveness to the market. And, and soon after doing that implementation, I. I had the opportunity to meet him at a program that he was uh, presenting in South Africa. And it it struck me, you know, almost immediately after I'd met him is he, he had asked me a question about, you know, what is my life goal? What do I want to achieve? And uh, my reply to him was that, you know, I'm passionate about helping organizations and, and individuals identify and unlock their inherent potential. And I could immediately see how theory of constraints could help you do that. Um, and it, it helps us in at least five ways. If you think about why is something called a theory, in, in science we call something a theory simply because it's a good explanation about why something is important and useful. So theory of constraints, you'd expect to hear why we believe that knowledge of the constraint in a system is really important and useful. And it's important and useful for one of five reasons. The first one is knowing that the constraint in a system helps us to set ambitious but achievable targets. If the system is constrained by the potential of the constraint, then knowing the gap between the current performance and the constraint's potential is a practical way of setting achievable but also ambitious targets. The second part is that knowing the constraint of the system is a fast track of being able to judge the impact of changes on the system. Knowing the impact it will have on the constraint is a quick way of checking what the impact on the whole system will be. The third reason why knowledge of a constraint is important is that it helps us to decide where to focus. You know, we have many more things demanding our attention than what we have available attention, and knowing that we should focus our attention and other scarce resources on the constraint as the primary way of lifting up the performance is really important. And then the last two reasons is knowing the constraint is really important to decide what rules to use. We don't want to use rules that local optimize or short term optimize. We want to use rules that global optimize the system. And it turns out that the rules to optimize the constraint is also the rules to optimize the whole system. And lastly, of course, when should I change the rules? When a constraint moves, I should change the rules. So I immediately realized how powerful this theory of constraints was in helping individuals and organizations make better, faster decisions. And I, I was able to spend over 20 years with Dr. Goldratt working on very exciting projects around the world, some of the most large and complex organizations we worked on together. And unfortunately, he, he passed away in 2011. But I'll always remember the one thing he left me with. He said to me that I expect you and everybody else that has been able to learn theory of constraints not to stand in my shadow, but to stand in on my shoulders. You know, science is advanced when we stand on the shoulders of giants. And, and Goldratt was a giant in his field, not just in operations management or helping organizations overcome, constraint, overcome constraints, but also in understanding why people resist making good changes in their life or sometimes overreact and make bad changes. So it was a real privilege to have worked with him for such a long time. And that's the focus of Goldratt Research Labs, is to continue to advance the theory of constraints-based knowledge, to develop new applications and new knowledge. And and I would highly encourage you to, to come to our website, to see the type of projects that we get involved in. And if you are interested uh, to collaborate with us, to have a joint innovation or research labs, I'd most welcome you to, to contact us and, and share any requirements that you might have.